Hi, today you will learn how to create search view in Android. So let's start. Open your Android Studio. Now click on start a new Android Studio project. Here we select empty activity, click on next. Name of your application. Search view. Here we choose the language Kotlin and click on finish. So first open your XML file activity main.xml and in this file we are using linear layout and inside this linear layout we add one search view and a list view and the list view will show the list of programming languages. So first we add search view. For background, here we create one custom background. So click on Drawable and create a Drawable resource file to create a custom background. Name it custom background. Here we use shape. We choose shape rectangle type. Now click on main activity, background, and here we add our custom background. Now add one list view. So here you can see in our design, first is uh, search view. Here provide orientation vertical. Now click on main activity. First we access the search view and list view from XML file by using find view by ID. So here bar. and create one array that contains programming language. Now create one array adapter. And this adapter we are using to fill the data in list view. So here we create a string type array adapter. And here we pass our array names.
Now set our array adapter. So this view dot adapter. And here we pass our adapter. Now we use search dot set on query text listener. And this listener is called when user perform any action within a search view. So here we pass object. So here we implement methods on query test change and on query test submit. So first method is on query text submit. This method is called when user submit any query. So here we use search. Now if names dot contain query so when user search for any query and if it is available then it will show the result otherwise it will display one toast message that displaying item not found so here we add adapter dot filter and here we pass query else it display one toast message And return false. Now on query test chain, this method is called when user changes query. Now run the project. So here you can see our output when you click on search view and type Android it display Android and when you type any other language like PHP display PHP or if the item is not available in this uh, search view then it display item not found so here we write ASP there is no item when I click on search it display item not found thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section thank you